everybody. Today we celebrate Ghana's 64th independence. You know it was 64 years ago when our first president Dr. Kwame Nkrumah said the independence of Ghana was meaningless unless it was linked with the total liberation of Africa. And since then we've come to see virtually the whole of Africa liberated. Today we have to say something also along those lines. This is Dr. Kofi Boatin speaking to you today. Along the lines that the independence of Ghana today, as we celebrate 64 years of it, is also it continues to be meaningless unless it is linked with the economic liberation and human rights liberation of all people of Ghana, citizens and otherwise. Ghana is going through a debate, a social debate right now, whether they should recognize the rights of LGBTQs. And the majority of the prevailing attitude seems to be, no, we should send them, give them almost a one-way ticket to hell. But this is wrong because it was uh, Martin Niemöller, German, who made this statement. First they came for the communists and I did not speak up because I was not a communist. Then they came for the socialist and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionist and I didn't speak up because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews and I didn't speak up because I was not a Jew. And then they came for me and no one spoke up for me because they had taken everybody. So it is that when it comes to the issue of human rights, it means just that. And Ghana's constitution recognizes human rights. As a matter of fact, as the chairman of Progressive Alliance Movement, it is the human rights movement and the recognition of such that led us to bring the case in, in uh, Ghana's High Court to get Rupa uh, implemented. And we see that occurring over and over and over again. So my plea is very simple, that we should pause, stop quoting excessively from the Bible and from our ancestry, and remember one simple thing. Jesus said, who is without sin, cast the first stone. In God's eyes, there's no small sin and a big sin. Sin is sin. And we could go on and on and on and point out everybody's sins. But to project the majority, the, the tyranny of the majority on the minority is completely wrong. We as Ghanaian Americans living in the U.S. know all about being a minority and having the majority reject you. We shouldn't be doing the same thing in our own country against our own people. So let's use this moment of Ghana's 64th independence to say this, that the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it is linked to the total human rights of all Ghanaians. Thank you.